Yo you guys, what is going on? It's Blazonary here, and today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you my entire vape collection. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so today in this video, I'm going to be bringing you my highly anticipated vape collection video. I'm going to be dropping this video today on Sunday, and I'm going to be temporarily stopping the How To Be A Hype Beast series, because every single Sunday, I'm going to be posting on my community tab on my YouTube channel page, so you can find that right here. So this is like, you know, kind of a little guideline to go view this section of my channel. And every Sunday, I'm going to be posting on this page asking you guys what video you'd like to see on the next Sunday. I've been kind of saving this idea for a little bit in my head because I wanted to incorporate it into 2018. There's 52 Sundays that's going to happen this year. And I'm going to try and bring you guys a video every single Sunday about a topic that you guys are curious about and you want to see. Because I make content about my own channel. Like, it's my content, my channel, my video ideas. But I want to hear what you guys want to see. I feel like that's a great way to build a good relationship between, you know, creator and audience. Every Sunday, please go check out that post. And I also want you guys to go ahead and know that I'm having a pop-up in Naperville, Illinois next Saturday. So here's the flyer on the screen right now. It's going to be at Central Hype, Illinois. It's going to be from 1 to 4 p.m. And something really cool is going down. So if you guys line up early and, like, you get there before the pop-up starts, you guys will see that I'm going to be riding up. in my dream car. Make sure you guys get there a little early, you know what I'm saying? I'm probably gonna do a giveaway there too. I'm gonna probably give away some merch. I'm gonna be having some crep protect at the event and I'm gonna be making it a really awesome time for all of us. So please, if you guys are in the Midwest area, I encourage you guys to come out and drive to it because it's my first Midwest pop-up ever. I've never been on that side of the United States doing a pop-up there. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into my babe collection. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna be showing you guys is my t-shirt collection of babe stuff. I have quite a bit of t-shirts right here because t-shirts are easily the most accessible bape item you can probably get and you can find a lot of older bape t-shirts for around 40 to 50 dollars depending on where you look there's a lot of different options for you guys because there's so many years that bape has been around that you can just pick up a tee from any era and it'll still be relevant because bape is been kind of relevant for the past like 18 years so we're gonna go ahead and kick it off with the first t-shirt this one right here i got in this video so boop I got this t-shirt in this video, and this one was only 50 bucks, and it's got the Bapes the Star logo right there, and this little lady, whatever she's doing, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but she's just kind of sitting on it, and then it's got this like candy cane looking design on the back, so I don't know when I'll be wearing this t-shirt, but it was only 40 bucks, it was kind of a must cop. The next Bape t-shirt that I have is this one, and I've actually been on the hunt for this one, and luckily I found it in uh, one of my trips to Sneaker One CLT, and this is just a very typical A Bathing Ape t-shirt, it's got like the blue camo on the head and it just says a bathing ape it's honestly the cleanest bait t-shirt that i own and it's definitely probably a favorite for me another really clean one is this one this is the 10th anniversary actually no that's completely wrong this is just like a new york anniversary tee every year they drop a select amount of t-shirts in the babe store in new york and they're all purple themed and they have a statue of liberty on the babe head so just a little bit of uh, knowledge for you guys on that and it says busy works on the front logo this is another one of my personal favorites in the babe t-shirt collection because i've had this one for probably two and a half years i had this t-shirt before i got my nike mags and this is the back to the future babe collab i got this when it released least on the back to the future day and I think it's just a pretty cool shirt. I dig it a lot. The DeLorean with the flames, it's pretty dope. Next up, I got this salmon colored vape head. Just very typical vape head. Nothing really else. It's actually got the it's like a front and a back of it. Then you have another salmon colored one right here, except it's got the olive accents. Next up, we got another vintage Bape t-shirt, and this one is so old that it came out before the Bape store even opened in New York. Got this for like 60 bucks. So as you guys can see, you can find these really vintage Bape t-shirts for pretty cheap prices. Next up, we got this American flag themed bathing ape head tee. Another personal favorite in the collection, we have this shark face and it's like a holographic logo on it. So depending on which way you look, you can kind of get like some aqua purple and blue rainbow accents. I think that looks really sick. Another vintage one right here, you have the Baby Milo store in kind of like this gladiator theme. So I don't know, they're just kind of decked out in some gladiator gear. I think it looks pretty cool. You have another vintage looking one right here, except this one is like styled off the Burberry logo. So here's what the Burberry logo looks like. It's right there. And then Bape kind of did their own rendition, but in purple. 
had a cop. And lastly, this is kind of like a t-shirt, but it's also a crew neck. I got this at the Bape store in New York when I went, I think uh, a year and a half ago. It's just got Champion right here on the front. So it's the Champion collab, but on the back, it's got a bathing ape. And this is actually reversible. So I could wear it on this side or I could wear it on this side, but I typically wear it on this side because I wouldn't want the Champion logo behind me like that. And it's just got little details like the Champion, and then the little bape head right there too. All right, next up, I'm gonna be showing you guys my pants. So like the bottom, some shorts, stuff like that. Let's get into it. Up first, we have these pants right here. And I actually have these as a matching set to a jacket, which I'll be showing you a little later throughout this video. And what I really like about this piece is that it's different from the typical bape camo colors that they do. This one is a lot more neon. It's a lot more vibrant. You got like oranges and lime greens and purples. I think it looks really cool. And I actually wear them to bed pretty often. <laughs> Next up, we have a snow camo colored themed short right here. So I haven't had a chance to wear these because I got these in the fall and it's too cold to wear them right now. It's like 20 degrees outside. So I can't be wearing these yet, but I definitely feel like I can match some cool stuff with these in the future. Fun fact, this was the first pair of babe shorts that I ever owned. And this is probably was my favorite pair of shorts to wear for the longest time because they're galaxy themed. And back when I was, you know, little teenager, 15 years old, galaxy theme was like my favorite thing ever. So this is kind of like a throwback short for me, but still nonetheless, it's a dope piece in the collection. Two very more recent pickups that I'm huge fans of. I have the shark head pants. So this is kind of my thing is like they're sweatpants. So it's my favorite kind of pants. And then you've also got it in the navy colorway. And then my personal favorite, the purple colorway. So this is my favorite pant that I own from Bape just cause it's purple. It's got the shark head and it's a very comfortable pant. I'm all about comfort. So this is dope. I'm actually wearing pajamas as I film this. All right, so I'm gonna be switching it up a little bit and I'm gonna be showing you all of my Bape accessories. And then we're gonna finish off the video with my Bape outerwear, like my jackets, my hoodies, flannels, and stuff like that. First up, really useful accessory that I have in my room are these Bape coasters right here. I have a blue colored one and then I also have a green colored one. I'm not sure about the authenticity on this one to be honest because I know this one's real. I got this from Bape Japan but this one eh, I don't know actually. I think a friend gave it to me, but I still keep it in the room just cause. Next up, some cooler little accessories. We have these little bait pens right here. So this one is just the bathing ape. It's kind of like a dollar pen you can get at like the store. And then this one's more of a nicer pen. This one's kind of like a fancier office pen. So this one's dope too. I actually don't know what ink color this is. It's a black pen. And this one, it's also a black pen to settle your curiosity. Next up, we just got a light little accessory. It's just a little bathing ape keychain. I just have it on display hanging up like this. One of the more interesting Bape accessories that I have in my collection is this USB flash drive. I haven't opened it yet because I think it's just the packaging looks really cool. And on the back, this is how you open it up. So it's got like this little part that slides out in the bottom and then it's just kind of like a card. I'm assuming you can keep it in your wallet and it's kind of like an easy carry around flash drive. Very interesting. This was 2,800 yen. Next up, we got a little baby Milo lunchbox tote bag kind of thing. This is from the Baby Milo store. I think this is a free gift bag they give you if you buy a certain amount of things. But to be honest, I'm not completely sure. It could cost money. So I don't know, maybe correct me in the comments below. I think this one's pretty cool. And it's got this little Bape attention card in it. Color will transfer onto clothing when sweat, rain, or heavy pressure comes in contact with this item. So that means I will not be using this item. <laughs> Next up, this was actually given to me at a sneaker event. And to be honest, I'm not sure what it does besides just look cool. These are little envelopes. I'm, you just put stuff in them but I don't know what they're used for, but they're little envelopes. So say you got like a, you got like a girl in class and you're writing her a note with your bait pen and you're just like, you slide this turn in a nice little pink envelope. I'm sure it'll work guys. Some more interesting accessories from baby Milo. We have these little stress balls and I haven't taken them out of the package, but now I will. And to settle your stress, you just squeeze baby Milo's head. And that's about it. I got this for a steal like a year and a half ago. This is a Coca-Cola bathing ape frisbee and I paid like 20 bucks for it. It was DS, but now it ain't DS cause you know, we use our frisbees. Something that I will not be using are these bait masks right here. Although they do look cool in photos, I definitely would not wear them around as kind of like a fashion piece because number one, your breath's probably going to stink. Number two, it probably gets really nasty in there all day. Another cool display accessory in the room is this baby Milo stuffed animal and all it does is sit on the couch. But my favorite thing to do it is just make funny faces with it. A useful bape accessory that I have is this one right here. This is a neck pillow and I bring this on all the flights that I go on. So 
when I'm just chilling, I'm styling and I'm profiling. To be completely honest, most of my vape accessories are useless except for this one. So I'm glad at least I have some functionality in the vape accessories. Next up, to be completely honest, I'm not also sure of the authenticity of this item, so please correct me once again. I do own them though, so I can't really go back if they're fake, but they're like these little bear bricks. So this is what they look like. This one's yellow, and then this is the box they came in, so maybe you guys can help me out here and identify if these are authentic or not. I did get them off Amazon. The reason why I did that was I was just doing this campaign with uh, Amazon, so I just decided to cop these, but I don't know if they're real or not. So help me out guys. They have like this rarity scale right here. So I'm not entirely sure if this is authentic. I hope they're real because this purple one is super dope. Now I know this one is authentic. This is a Bape Play Bear Brick. This is another really tiny one and it came in this packaging instead of that other box. So that's the only reason why I'm doubting the authenticity just because of the box and just kind of the way it looks. I'm not, I'm not sure. But this one is for sure real. For some functionality, I mean these are kind of cool but I wouldn't use them. Actually, maybe I would when I move my have a little personal bape collection of plates and stuff like that. I think that'd be cool if I had like guests over and then they had like bathing ape table eh, tables. If they had like bathing ape plates and cups and like utensils, I think that'd be really sick. But as far as it goes for just kind of looking cool in my room, they don't do really much else but that. So I have a fork, a knife, and a spoon. I have this cup right here, this army colored cup. It's got the head and then a logo and then this plate too. It's ceramic like ceramic dude. ceramic something like that yes to be completely honest with you guys these are definitely my favorite accessories out of my bape stuff and the reason for that is when i have friends come over they use these to sleep on they look cool on the couch and overall just they're dope they're bape pillows i want to get the green one because i want to complete the collection i think that would look sick on the couch those are all my bape accessories and lastly let's move it to the outerwear Ooh, doo -doo. lastly i'm going to be showing you guys my bape outerwear this first one that i have right here is a purple bape hoodie. This is probably my favorite hoodie, um, just cause it's purple and it's just very simple. Next up, this is my favorite beater bape hoodie. So a lot, I wear this to school. This is just a snow camo colored one, but then you also have that holographic logo on the bape head. So I think that looks really sick too. This actually should have been in the t-shirt section, my bad, but this one is a bathing ape long sleeve. It's super simple. It's the most simple bape thing you can ever get because it's their entire logo just right on the front and nothing on the back. Super clean and easy to match with for sure. This one right here is super dope too because I got this. Uh, I was inspired to get this because of the fact that I had a jacket like this back in fifth grade, except it wasn't Bape. It was a New York Giants one. So seeing this was a little bit of nostalgia and I kind of had a cop. I think it looks really cool with, when you style it with like a hoodie and just overall, it's dope. It says World Gone Mad right there. If you guys didn't know, that's what WGM means. So if you guys own a Bape Shark hoodie and you guys had no idea what that meant, WGM on the side right here means World Gone Mad. And while I'm on the topic, this is my red shark hoodie that I got. This is the only shark hoodie that I currently own right now. I used to collect them back in the day. And for some reason, I got out of it for like a year and a half. And then I started doing all Supreme. But now that I'm doing everything, I'm, I'm going to be copping some more Bape Shark jackets. So if you guys like that, stay tuned to the vlogs. This right here is definitely something that had a lot of controversy back when it first dropped. This is the Bape and Adidas track jacket and this is honestly in my opinion the hardest thing to style in my collection because wearing a track jacket can be a little risky depending on the type of weather it is you know because the wind will pass right through it and then it's kind of hard to wear this with like sweatpants and stuff so you really got to style it correctly and i don't have any of the bape nmds which sucks so i couldn't even piece together a fit with that i've only worn this probably like two times but i'd love to wear it more if i got the bape nmds i just wore this actually last night and if you guys peep my instagram at john carlo perch on the bottom left hand corner of the screen so that's right there you guys will see that i posted a really flame photo in this flannel right here and this is the first flannel that i own that's pretty expensive i had never really been a huge flannel guy but i'm starting to diversify my fashion collection so i figured why not give it a try this is the matching jacket to those really vibrant pants that you guys saw earlier coming on the final two items right here we have this super simple bathing ape hoodie it's just green camo pretty standard actually and lastly the last item in my babe collection, which is probably my favorite jacket and not like a hoodie. This is like my favorite jacket. This is the Adidas and Bape Downs jacket. I was on the hunt for this for a really long time when it first came out. And then a couple months later, I think two or three months later, I was finally able to get it. So I'm super stoked about that. And it is a shark hoodie too. So actually, wow, I didn't even realize that. So I do have two shark jackets. I have two shark jackets and that's actually it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure you smash that like button and you drop a comment down below letting me know what you thought of my Bape collection. And I hope you guys 
are gonna leave your suggestions on the discussion page of my YouTube channel because I'm really interested in hearing what kind of video ideas you guys wanna see from me. And I've already found a couple that I really enjoyed and I'm definitely gonna be making those into some Sunday videos. Do not forget about my pop-up in Naperville, Illinois. The flyer is right there one more time. And I screenshot it. All right, there you go. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great night day whenever you're watching. It's Blazonary. I'm out. Stay positive. Peace.